To answer uh, a lot of people's questions I'm getting in my inbox, we have a situation with the WBC where they're going to change the rule, which goes in effect, uh, I believe, on the 31st. Well, they're going to have new percentage rules as far as how much a person can go in the ring weighing. And these rules were enforced, used to be enforced before, and now we may get the Canelo fight with Mayweather because they're saying Canelo cannot weigh over 169 going into a fight. But these rules have already been in place to protect the fighters. But they have been overlooked. Some, they do pay fines. And you're going to still see fighters come in heavy. Some are going to be willing to pay the fine. This is after a weigh-in. So that means the fight has already been made. Okay, after the fight's been made, now we're going to have a situation in which you cannot balloon up so much in weight going into a fight. That, that used to be the norm. It used to be a percentage. It used to be in place. But now I guess they got penalties and everything else enforced into it. And this is an interview with Jose um, Suleiman from the WBC, the president of the WBC, going over these rule changes a year ago. This is over a year. This is a year and a half ago. When they were getting ready to implement the rule of same day weigh ins, having them start at 9 o'clock in the morning. That's what they wanted to push over to the committee, who then would vote on it and make a decision on what they were going to do. This interview is from February 2012. Just listen to this insert. I'll put the full interview below, you know, in, in the link category area, the description box. And check it out. Um, instead of weighing in before the fight, uh, a couple hours before the fight, risking the health of the fighter, now we have the 24 hours at least before um, each bout. What are your thoughts still now? Obviously there's a lot of positives, and I think it's something that had to change. But now the fact yes. that it seems like there is a little negative in it as far as how much weight is put on for the next day. And yes. some guys are getting outweighed by 10, 15, 20 pounds. What are your thoughts on maybe switching that back around or, or putting a weight limit on the next day. What are your thoughts yes. on that? It seems like it, more and more. It, it, is, it is a very interesting and very good question. Many years ago, about 20, I think, the WBC decided to change from the six hours or so uh, way in before the fight because the boxer used to go into the ring totally dehydrated and uh, we put it into the hands of the WBC medical board and it took around five years for a final decision in a world medical meeting to recommend to have the way in of the bite of the fighters at least 24 hours so they could sleep so they could drink water, rehydrate, and go to the ring with somehow good physical conditioning. Because the doctors thought that for a total rehydration, they needed 72 hours, not 24. But because of the impossibility that a professional vaccine that would be done, we just went to the 24 hours before. But there were accidents. I remember a, a poor boxer from Colombia who died after the fight, and we found out that he had lost about 20 pounds in, in three weeks. So the WBC also, as a recommendation of our doctors, we have one doctor representing every one of the 10 confederations. They decided to recommend the WBC to have a pre-weigh-in 30 days before the fight with a 10% allowance of overweight. And then one other seven days before the fight with 5% allowance. 
final, the official wait, 24 hours before the fight. One or two hours less for vote, according to the promoters. Okay. In the last convention of the WBC in Las Vegas, it was an amendment to the WBC regulations which have not been yet taken into effect because we have not projected the new rule into the whole world. And the new rule is we will have one other way in at 9.30 in the morning before the fight takes place. And uh, we expect that 5% of the weight to be natural. If it's 10%, the fight can take place for the title. If it's over 10%, then we will not recommend the fight to be taking place for a world championship. Also, there is going to be a fine to the fighter that considerably is weighing much more than the percentages that the doctors have recommended the WBC to respect. If there is a fine, that fine will go, will go totally to the boxer that weighed in and the following weighed in did it right. We expect that on July the 1st, this new rule will be absol uh, uh, implemented absolutely without exceptions. Wow, that would be great because I, I really respect the fact that it was changed because um, I think it needed to be, but now it seems like it is yeah. being manipulated and that would definitely uh, put something to it. So, nice. Okay. Yeah. And then just, just one know, more. We, we, have to, we have to be sure that is implemented in the in the whole world, not only one here and one out there, because it would not it would not be fair. So we right. decided that starting on July the first, the new rule of another way in at nine thirty in the morning will take effect. Okay, so at nine thirty in the morning. Yes. Nine thirty in the morning and you have to be what is it, five or ten percent? Five percent. Five percent allowed you're allowed to have five percent over. Okay, well, okay, okay. And then just ten percent, ten percent will be the maximum that could be allowed for the fight to take place for the title. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. 